lose, you know? Oh my god. Right, so we're getting right into it. And Shinobi forgets to transform. Respect, though. From Respect, Hayden, yeah. Doesn't, doesn't hit him for it. Uh, oh, yeah, it gets caught up by the spot dodge. Honestly, that dash attack was ill-advised. But that second back air was also ill-advised. Yeah. Uh, I like the idea of going... It could have yeah. worked out, but... But he went for the immediate. Yeah. There's there's a huge risk when you go for that. Yeah. It looks swaggy, but there's it's very risky. And he gets caught by the needles, so that should be the stock. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like he might have made it, but... Maybe a little too... Well. Doesn't get full invincibility on that ledge dash, but it's okay, I think. AED is doing a pretty good job at holding center stage here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not a lot you could have done there. Tech chase up smash is probably Sheik's... Like, I guess the Unga Bunga option for Sheik. Because there's obviously more guaranteed options. Yeah, but, but sometimes you just want Yeah, sometimes damage. you just gotta go for it. That was smart. Smart back air. Smart. Yeah, wall jump back air. Good. Um, if you if he's not re refreshing his um, invincibility on ledge, then you should be going for aerials on ledge. Oh yeah. And that's a really good catch by Shinobi to recognize that. I would have liked to see more patience from Aiden once you once he up throws because she has no aerial drift. It's gonna yeah. be very difficult. But AD actually keeping it very close. Yeah. Definitely respectable. Nice fall through up there on that. Manages to kind of avoid the aerial, but the AED overextends with a nair. Yeah, no, for sure. That was uh, <laughs> not ideal for him. No, not at all. There we go. Got his double jump, I think. No jump. Forced oh, the air dodge, yeah, then he didn't get anything. To land. Gets a good crouch cancel, so this should be the start of a good edge guard. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just grab ledge there. Not quite a tipper, but yeah, this is very interesting down option. Yeah, I feel like downer. any other option besides down air would have worked. Ooh, just gets they a were random just tipper. Yeah, they yeah, were both just swinging at each other. Nice. Yeah, you gotta be able to sweet spot with Marth. That's uh, one of the more important things. Definitely something that will like hamper your ability to do well at a mid-level is if you just can't sweet spot as Marth because so many characters can take crazy advantage of it. Uh, here we go though. Oh, a little back and forth. That was really good duck into the pair. Yeah. Ooh, gets the back air. I think a nair so probably would have been better at the ledge. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Nice savvy stalls to kind of refresh ledge invincibility in the safest way possible. Sometimes when you go for the Shino stall, um, you'll accidentally clip the Marth, and it'll end up in a edge guard scenario that you don't really want to be in when something as fast as a savvy stall is guaranteed. Yeah. Shy guy gets in the way, but it could have extended the hitbox actually. Yeah. So actually when a Marth whiffs a grab like that, she can spot dodge and have enough time to get the turn around into grab to counter it. Oh wow, that's yeah. great. Oh, fair? That's great it. up tilt actually, because he knew that um, AED was probably going to be thirsty to get back on, his, on the ground, because Marth is really, really... While he is very oppressive under a platform, he doesn't really have that many options to get off a platform other than edge cancel. Yeah, uh, I think this counter pick has not been working out for Aiden. Because not at all. Yeah, he's been dying super early, and he's not getting a whole lot off the platform. Yeah. Honestly, it seems like Shinobi is getting real comfortable in this matchup now. That should be it, though. Yep. All right, keeping it respectable. And it's interesting that AED decided to go to Yoshi's, considering like. Yoshi's and Fountain are very similar in stage presence, I, guess, I think. At least yeah, the way Yoshi's played different. out. Yeah. In this matchup, I think they're very similar. Right. I like the up throw. I feel like a lot of Marths tend to feel like against floaties, they have to up throw, but we see more and more like top players like Zane going for the ooh, nice back air. Misses the sweet spot. Oh, but he gets that messed he up by Randall there. Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah, that should be. That's yeah, that's. Cool. A, yeah. 
Like I was saying, we see a lot of um, like top mark lanes like Zane going for like these F throw back throw mix ups on floaties now. Yeah. Um, so it's been interesting to see how the meta's been developing, but it seems like AED's sticking with the up throws. Oh yeah, I think uh, definitely uh, Aiden needed to like up throw and then wait for the double jump, try to catch out double jumps more. Absolutely. Didn't unfortunately didn't end up that way. The yeah. Bag of tricks that came up empty. And I feel like the name of the game in the Marth Sheik matchup, especially at mid top level. Uh, mid to high and top level is all about how patient you can be. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. 